Hey everyone, Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Extra Daily Diet, Art by Science. Earlier today, I went to Dongdae Moon again. <laughs> I went a long time ago, a couple months ago, and things were closed. Brandon has to work on uh, Saturdays, so when we got there, it was like four o'clock, and they usually close down around six on Saturdays. So a lot of vendors were already closed by the time we got there. So I went there uh, around noon today, and everything was still open and happened, so it was really great. Anyway, I wanted to show you some of my swag. <laughs> so I was looking for a few things that would um, be nice in as add-ins for some for some of the yarns that I plan to make. And I found this booth the last time there that I was there, and I loved all the variety of colors that they had. I needed sequins in different colors. Now, the craft store in America that I went to a lot was Hobby Lobby, and they did not have, let's see our focus, they did not have all these varieties of colors. So I picked through what they had. Of, these are actually flat sequins. Normally they're cup shaped so that there's more reflection. Um, but I find that these lie a little flatter when you're spinning yarn. So I got these instead. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of different colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. And they weren't even that expensive either. Uh, some of these were uh, 2001, which is a little less than $2. And this one was the thousand one, which is a little less than a dollar. So um, this is going to go into some yarn I'm going to make. And then I was making some coarse spun yarn uh, before. I think it was either the last episode or the episode before that. So um, the core I was using was an acrylic yarn, and it was really fat. It was a worsted weight, so the yarn I was making was really bulky, which is totally fine. But to add variety, I decided to get some cotton yarn. No! <laughs> this is a pound of cotton yarn, and it's actually really thin. I'd say this is probably a lace weight, maybe. Yeah, it's probably a lace weight <clears throat> yarn. So it's a two ply cotton with a ton of twists. I have never seen this much twist in a cotton yarn. Um, so normally I would steer completely away from using a cotton yarn as a core yarn because it does undergo through a lot of stress through the process of making a coarse spun yarn. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. If not, it really wasn't that expensive, but I can always use this for other stuff. Um, and then last, so one of my YouTube subscribers, Dave on a Rave, hi! <laughs> He has been asking me to do hand sewing videos because um, as a guy, a lot of times you have to like fix things on your own, especially if you're by yourself or your wife or your girlfriend doesn't know how to sew at all. And um, instead of paying a seamstress like 20 bucks to sew on a button, yeah, that, that's right, 20 bucks. I've, I've definitely seen this somewhere. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a little bit of basic hand stitching. So while I was there, I found a bunch of thread. And this is actually going to double duty for me because <clears throat> I need some way to attach these sequins onto the yarn. And what better way than to use beautiful threads like this. I really cannot believe how cheap these were. These are, th these two products, I actually have like seven of these, but um, this product, is made in Korea, so it was like 2001 for all this. There's a ton, there's, I don't even know, it's not marked, so I don't know exactly how many yards there are, but there are a ton of yards here. Ton. And then I got the smaller ones in different colors. I got, I got like 10 or so of these in different colors. Um, and like I said, they're going to go really well with the different sequins that I have to add more color and variety to the yarns that I plan to make. But in addition, um, I mean you don't need a lot of yarn, or a lot of yarn, <laughs> you don't need a lot of thread when you're fixing small things, uh, hemming up a shirt because it started to become unraveled, or hemming pants, or sewing on a button, or fixing a hole. I actually just found one of my silk shirts has a hole and I have to fix. So there's like 15 things I'm going to have to fix, and I'm going to film them all and uh, hopefully do it from a vantage point that is 
most applicable to actually able to see what I'm doing. So <laughs> if not, I'll just do it again. I, I, I have to retake videos sometimes, so I hate doing it because I'm like, Ugh! <sighs> anyway. So, <laughs> so I got a bunch of stuff in Dongdae Moon. I just scratched the surface. I just scratched the surface. There's so much stuff there. Um, I kind of wandered around, got a little bit lost as well. And um, finally, food. I needed food, so I stopped eating and then I came home. But um, I found a lot of really cool stuff. I'm definitely going to go back there again just to explore what's outside the mall. Because every time I go, I, I leave the exit and then turn left right into the mall and that's it. But they've got like a cultural center there too. It's one of the, uh, I think it's like the East Gate. Dongdaemun? Yeah, I think, it, I think it means East Gate in Korean. And um, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do around there that the two times that I've made it there um, haven't really investigated. So <laughs> I'll do that next time. Anyway, so if you watch this video and you like it, please thumbs up. Post a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. If you want to see me do a particular video, uh, post that below. Um, subscribe. Always love subscribers. <laughs> you guys give me such great ideas. And I also have uh, Facebook and Twitter, so you can follow and find me there. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.